really out really fast, and then you kind of looked like you were going to almost hold off Michael that last stroke. What was what was going through your mind that last 15 years? Uh, just that I came here for a purpose, and it didn't matter who was next to me or you know where I was in the race. The goal is to go to London, and uh, I've been finishing that way for a few years now. So it, it wasn't anything that I didn't expect to do. Uh, I'm just happy that I'm going to London. Did it work to your advantage that you know this was the second to last day of the meet? Had some time to kind of work through the nerves and kind of get more time to spare. Yeah, I've done it before. You know, at the uh, you know the World Championships. Usually, I don't swim until day six, and so I got to swim day four and get into the meet a little bit. And uh, you know, I was, I was ready for it, and you have to be. Because uh, your body can sit around a little bit and get get a little stale, uh, but it's something you have to be uh, aware of and used to. At about the 65 meter mark, you almost surged. You had a, a first, and you kind of moved up on the field. What's happening with you at that point to allow that to happen? I just I had to make the decision this morning to to be an Olympian and to go to London and let my body take over. Uh, that's kind of the way I've been preparing all year. Uh, and so it was just part of my game plan and part of my strategy how to build the race and, and finish strong. What was the ready room like before that one? It was a, that was a little more intense ready room than I've been a part of. There's a lot of guys that are trying to go to London. Uh, but uh, there's a difference between trying and making that decision. And so I, I was ready. Uh, I was ready to for that swim, and I, uh, I was ready to perform the way I did. Thank you. So we just decided.